with him gone, I kind of just like tackle everything and know it's all on me. And I just kind of want something to like kind of like decompress. I am going to do like a quick little declutter of all of my party supplies. I decided to go with a dog party theme. Just one road to take It's growing up over with green So easy to drive on But not what it seems The poison is spinning And it's taking out I did that one movement after walking And I walked my happy ass to my car Because I started my period this morning and I can still feel my cramps after taking a three ibuprofen. And so I just am trying to be gentle on myself and just realize like, it's okay. <laughs> Not every workout needs to be perfect or great. I'm glad I moved my body, but I'm also glad that I'm listening to my body and I'm just gonna go take it easy. So just sharing because I feel like it seems like everyone always has like the best workouts and like the most motivation. And that is just like simply not the truth. Could you listen to somebody? Well, this will be a paper. Will you only dream oh, the okay. thoughts of yourself? I remember oh, it can't be spilled. You take in your heels and spread the disease. You spread the disease. It has all of them. We go eat breakfast. Oh, pancakes. Pancakes. Oh, pancakes. Oh, pancakes. Oh, pancakes. Oh, pancakes. Get there, Rocky. Say bye, Mama. She's a good oldest too. Ready? Watch out. First, let me throw it and then you can help. Help! Help! This way. Um, you should see me though, I'm like in the back with like a blanket set up Why don't you climb up with Rocky? Love you, girl. Mama's gonna walk out, you're gonna shut your eyes, and you're gonna go to sleep. Yep. Okay, lay your head down, please. Eyes shut. Yeah, eyes shut. And he dodged it. 
Ooh, that was a little hot. Dodged it again, dodged it again, dodged it again. But he was getting so tired and he tried to smash him. Good official hello and welcome to the vlog you guys. Today is Tuesday which I have kind of coined as my vlogging day. I shared with you guys about a month ago that I was trying to come up with a schedule that I could follow for work and I just kind of made Tuesdays my vlogging days which happened to be the day that Nathaniel decided to go back to work. Around the same time his work said that they had to go in at least once a week and because we have preschool Monday, Wednesday, Friday it was either Tuesday or Thursday and he picked Tuesdays, which honestly has been super nice because he's so insanely helpful when he's home, but that actually makes me like lean on him a lot more. And so with him gone, I kind of just like tackle everything and know it's all on me and it makes me a lot more productive. And I really have enjoyed vlogging on these days um, and I feel like it's kept me really consistent. So I hope that you guys have been enjoying that. As you guys saw, we went to the park this morning. I think I only shared that I was with Brooke, but I was with a couple other friends too. Brooke also does social media, so it's really easy for me to vlog with her there she never cares but I just feel like weird even putting other people's families online so I didn't show them but it was super fun um, we got home got the kids down and now we're here but I'm excited to spend the rest of the day with you guys I have a lot of things that I want to get done and share with you guys so let's get into it the first thing that I want to do is paint a loaf of sourdough as like pretty smooth my morning was I have not sat down since 6 a.m. and I just kind of want something to like kind of like decompress before I get into some like decluttering and organizing and party prep and all that kind of stuff with you guys. And I have tried to paint a few loaves and every time I do it, it bleeds. And I discovered that I need to mix my food coloring with this like liquid whitener. And I think this is gonna fix my problem. I'm really hoping that it will because every loaf that I make just like bleeds and it just like looks so much cuter in my head. And it's very discouraging and I really want to get good at painting sourdough because it's so fun. So I'm really hoping that this will do the trick for me. But before I get into that, I did want to share with you guys one of my favorite products. If you guys have been viewers of mine for a while, then you know I have been taking AG1 for over a year. And during phase one of 75 hard, we added it as a like 1% better and we took it every single day for 30 days straight. And then the habit just continued on because on Honestly, it made me feel so good. I did not get that like afternoon slump like need for a pick me up around 3 p.m. like I usually do and the consistent energy that it provided me throughout the day made me feel so dang good. I personally love beginning my day with one scoop of AG1. It is seriously one of the most easiest habits that you can add when you're like making a cup of coffee or doing something that you do consistently every single morning and I swear starting your day off with something like that trickles into the rest of the day and I find that that I make so many better choices when I begin my day with AG1. I find the taste to be so insanely refreshing. It kind of has like a tropical-y bubblegum flavor. And if you drink it with eight ounces of water, a handful of ice, and through a straw, it's so good. If you have a hard time with drinks, I have seen people drink it with like orange juice or like Nathaniel for an example, he drinks it with like 12 to 16 ounces of water because it just kind of dilutes it a little bit. If you guys are unfamiliar with AG1, it is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health with probiotics and whole food sourced nutrients that aid your brain, gut, and immune system. It contains a broad spectrum of micronutrients that keep my body feeling nourished all day long, which as a busy mom of a three-year-old and an almost two-year-old, who's still trying to prioritize their health, this makes my life so much easier. It is so insanely easy and convenient. It is just one scoop once a day. And I just love that I know I am fueling myself with so many nutrients that can be so hard to consume regularly. And if you're not already convinced, AG1 also helps with stress and mood balance, and it promotes mental clarity, alertness, and better focus. It also supports healthy skin, hair, and nails, overall immune health, and it helps with recovery. There's so many benefits jam-packed into that one scoop. And truly it is just a no brainer and it is something that I love including into my daily routine. So if you'd love to feel the benefits as well, click the link in my description box. You will receive one free year supply of their vitamin D3 K2 drops plus five free travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. I wanted to give a huge thank you to AG1 for working with me on today's video and I hope that you guys love it just as much as I do.
All right, while my bread is in the oven, I am going to do like a quick little declutter of all of my party supplies. If you guys saw my last vlog, then you would have seen my major like purge of my closet. And I mentioned doing a section in the vlog of like decluttering each week because I truly need that myself. There's so many spaces in my house that are just full of clutter and give me a headache anytime that I think about them or see them. And one of those is my party cabinet. There's a cabinet underneath all of my baking stuff that has like all of my bowls and platters and stuff like that. And there's just too much in there and I need to move some of the things that I don't reach for as often into my pantry. Now I'm not gonna be doing like an entire pantry clean out just yet because I don't have like all the containers that I want for that and I want to like really do that well once I do it and I am not prepared for that today. So we are just gonna go through all of my party decor. So this is where I do like the majority of my baking and right below is where I have like all of the party decor that I was mentioning. And honestly, you guys, this cabinet isn't horrible to the eye, but it is horrible every time I try to grab something from here. This literally gives me anxiety every time I open it. I'm just like fearful one of these is gonna fall out. And I typically have two glass bowls stacked right there too. So it's just kind of a juggling act that really needs some TLC. My pantry is an area that I don't really show you guys because it is not cute. And it is full of a bunch of just like random crap. I do have a few containers, but not enough to make this anything desirable. And this section down here is the other party section that is again, just full of a bunch of like clutter and crap and just things that I shove this way when I am done with them. So my plan is to get this all kind of cleaned up so that way it'll make space for some of the things in here to go over there. Like I feel like my drink dispensers don't need to be in here, but like if I can just like reach my platters and bowls easily, my brain and my mind will be happy. Anytime I have a party, I always get these from Target. They're from the Spritz collection and they come with like these plastic gold fork knife situations, but we quite literally never use the knives. So this is probably like 10 containers of this of just knives, which I've never thrown away because I'm like one day I'll use them, but I've had these for years and I've never used them. But am I gonna throw them away? Probably not because I might use them. <laughs> If you guys are avid followers of mine, you're already going to know who gave me these. <laughs> my sweet grandma has given me like all of my platters and truly, they are so beautiful and so fun to have. I have like a huge stack of just like really pretty ones and then I also have up here and in my lap some like festive ones. And now I'm officially embarrassed, so <laughs> I'm gonna take these out and wipe this down and then I'll put these back in. All right, so this is how this shelf turned out. I freed up a lot of space for just like my drink dispensers, my cake stands, like that kind of thing. And then just below that is a bunch of the party decor. Um, these are like linens. These are the plates and the silverware extra like superhero stuff. Honestly, I don't know where else to put them. There's a bunch of solo cups too. But this to me feels a whole lot better than what I had going on before. And then this is the underneath cabinet. I still have those two porcelain bowls that I need to fit. I'm hoping they can just like sit right here. But on this side, I have just like platters and like bowls. And then these are all like festive platters, cups, that kind of thing. So, so much better. I did get rid of a couple things as well. And it's not gonna give me an anxiety attack every time I open this thing. All right, then this is how the bread turned out. Now, when I poured the whitener onto my little acrylic tray thing, way too much came out. And so the colors did get a little diluted and kind of cracked and stuff in the process of the bread like rising, but I still think it's cute. If you guys paint sourdough, let me know if you have any tips because 
This is actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I do have one more loaf and I really wanna try and paint like flowers or like bows on it. So if I have enough time before the kids wake up, I will be doing that. But I still think it's really cute, kind of subtle, and I feel like it's a good creative outlet. If I could give you more than half of me. I just finished filling out our calendar for the month. I was a little late to doing that, but I always feel so much better when all of the events are up on the fridge because it just makes it clear to everyone what's going on. The day this video is going live is actually Nathaniel and I's five year anniversary. We were supposed to go on a trip, but I did not get around to planning it. So we are still going to do something um, a little smaller. We are staying here and we're not going to like a hotel or anything, but my mom is gonna take the kids overnight. We're gonna get couples massages and then we are gonna go down to the lake and do like a sunset picnic, hopefully. Our massages are a little bit later in the day, so I'm hoping I can swing that. But I wanted to just do like a vow renewal between the two of us, just like sharing our new vows now that we have children in our lives too and just something, I don't know, to like reflect on the five years that we've been married and just be intentional about the next five years. But I'm really excited about that and it got me looking like March is pretty jam-packed. His sister gets married next weekend um, and Nathaniel's actually the officiant now and we are both in the wedding and our kids are in the wedding so that one's gonna be a big one for sure. Um, and then Echo turns two at the end of the month, which I wanted to update you guys on Echo's birthday situation because I did change her theme. I decided to go with a dog party theme because she is like equally, if not more obsessed with her little woof is what she calls it. And she actually sleeps with two dogs and her baby. And Brooke and I's party was like about to be the exact same thing. And so I'm like partially convinced to change it because of that. But honestly, I do feel like Echo is a little bit more into dogs. And I mentioned it to my friend Artemisa and she like that night made this entire mood board on Canva for me and sent me links to everything. So she just made my life like super easy and I was like, okay, done, we're doing that. So we're gonna do her birthday party on the 30th in the morning and then in the afternoon we'll do Easter with Nathaniel's family. Easter with my family on her actual birthday, but we are gonna try and just like spend as much time as just like the family of four that we have. And then I am really going to try and make this happen. I want to go to California for the first week of April to celebrate her birthday. We did a birthday trip for Rocky, um, his first birthday and his third birthday, and we have not done one for Echo yet. And so I just really want to go to the beach and spend time with them. We just got a sandbox in our backyard and the kids are just like loving playing in the sand. And I just think it would be so fun to spend the time to celebrate her. So that is kind of the plan. Um, over the next couple of weeks when I start doing even more prep for her birthday, I will definitely share with you guys. My friend came up with so many good ideas that it just like sold me. I was like, okay, yeah, this is so easy and so fun. But I have this like little playhouse upstairs and so we're gonna turn it into like a little puppy doctor center where they can use our play like doctor kit and do like a puppy visit and then we are gonna do a sensory table of them like washing little dogs uh, i'm gonna bring like my pickler triangle and climbing thing outside and what else are we gonna do um we're gonna do like an adopt a puppy station um she found these dogs on amazon with like these little boxes and i'm gonna set those up on a shelf and between the two of us, we have so many party things. Like I have the tables um, and a bounce house and she has like a little backdrop. So honestly, it should be super easy and low key. Um, everything that she plans is like $100, $150 tops. And so I told her, I was like, I want to throw a cute party, but I don't want it to be super expensive. So she really helped me like dial that in. But yeah, I'll definitely share with you guys along the way because I love sharing birthday parties. I think it's so fun. I love decorating. I love just like making it all cute and themed and extra special. So I cannot wait to get going on that. I need to get going on that. It's literally in like three and a half weeks, which is crazy. I cannot believe Echo's gonna be two. Also, sorry, I'm like chatting your guys' ears off, but I ended up finishing that book, The Housemaid. I finished it over the weekend, like so fast. It was seriously such an easy and good read. There was so many like little twists and I really enjoyed it. And so 
I went on TikTok and I ended up looking up like more book series that people liked and I found the Addicted Calloway Sisters series. And so I'm reading Addicted to You. I think there's like 10 books in this series. If you guys have read it, let me know. Um, but the girl rated like four or five of them, like five and even like six stars. So I was really excited. So far it's really good. It's like about um, a couple that's not really a couple. They're just like pretending to be and one is addicted to sex and one is addicted to alcohol and they kind of like use each other to like cover it up. And yeah, it's really interesting. So I want to do the Akatar series or however you say that. Um, I hear it's so good, but those books are so thick that I feel like that's like a time commitment. So I'm going to read these other books first and then I'll get into that. Which if you guys have read that too and you're like, no, 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 just read that right now, let me know. I hit the brakes, throw stones into a quiet lake. What is it you're really saying? I turn the thoughts to little waves. Space on either side of every single word I write. This is my third outfit <laughs> that I'm wearing in this vlog, but I looked back at video clips of me in that green jumpsuit and oh my gosh, it is so unflattering. I like had to take it off. If I'm going to have to stare at myself editing this, I cannot do it with that green <laughs> jumpsuit. So I just threw on these shorts and this sweatshirt, which these are actually too big. And so I had to do that little like belt loop trick where you like put it through the hoop. But that like poofs it out this way and I just cannot be bothered anymore you guys so just bear with me. I am on my period. I want to be comfortable and so I want something like loose but I also want to look cute and not like cringe at myself editing so that is <laughs> the happy medium we are getting here. But just like that it is time to wake up my kids and I'm really hoping that they want to go outside and play because I would love to read outside and they haven't played in the sandbox yet today and they have absolutely been loving that so let's see how they are let's see if they're in a good mood because i feel like that's always kind of iffy after a nap i actually had to go in twice for echo's nap so we are gonna get her first because i bet you she is ready to be up hi my beautiful do you want to get rocky yeah do you want to go read your book outside with mama or we can go play in the sandbox yeah but you want to okay let's go get rocky come on <laughs> We've been trying out this Dreamland baby for a little bit and I actually really like it I remember sharing that I was like nervous by like how heavy it was But Echo is not bothered at all And I truly think this is what I'm going to use when we have another baby because I hear it works wonders Also look this is her wolf that she's obsessed with and she always has this in her hand She loves her baby too, but do you love your wolf? Uh, yeah You gonna go outside with your wolf? You gonna take him with? Okay, let's go. Echo's at a stage where she really has a lot of say in what she wears. She always wants to pick her outfits and they're never what I want her to wear, which is not a big deal. But then his mom got her this. It came with like this little jean jacket, which is super cute and she loves it. And I just tried to put these pink shorts on her that she just threw in her laundry and she said, no, black. So this is Echo's outfit and this is also Echo's third outfit of the day. You want your shirt like Echo's? From yeah. Nana? Okay. Yeah. And I want these. Okay. Hey, did you turn off your sound machine? <laughs> did you wait patiently still though? High five. Proud of you. Do you want to go play in the sandbox? Black. 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 Huh? Black. 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 Sandbox? Do you want to play in it? I want to. What do you want to do? I want to make syrups. You want to make syrups? Okay. Should we do that outside? Okay. So no sandbox, but yes to serums. Okay. It's not mine. Yeah. So that looks so yummy. We made for something. Good, holding your paper. Beautiful. His brains are seriously so cool. We started gymnastics like a month ago and ever since the kids have been using like the pavers as a balance beam. If I could give you more than half
Look at how cute their little slice of bread is for dinner. Seriously, just so fun to have a fainted element. They lived at the top of a castle. There was tales of a big, mean dragon that flew across their city and breathed fire. It was a dragon. He shot again and he missed again. Then he got his arm. And he started flying with just one arm. But the dragon was strong and he was mad. He blocked it. He blocked it. The prince was so strong. He blocked it for the princess and the prince. Toes up to the bar. Yeah. All right. I haven't really talked to you guys since kids woke up, I don't think, but I'm actually gonna go get Brooke and we are going to go shopping. Um, I think we're just gonna go to like some home stores and maybe Sephora, which reminds me, I need to go get my Sephora gift card. I'm so glad I started this video. And then after that, we're gonna get ice cream. There is a new place that opened up and we actually went to this ice cream place together in California and now there's one like 10 minutes from us, which is super fun. So that is the plan for the end of the night. I am not gonna bring you guys along with me because I am honestly just so tired and done. I've been vlogging for 12 hours now, so. I think that is good. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out AG1. If you guys click the link in my description box, you will receive one free year supply of their vitamin D3K2 drops plus five free travel packs. The travel packs are amazing for just like on the go or if you're on vacation or you can just throw them in your diaper bag. They're the best. Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. Seriously, it means the world. And I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye guys.